Hi, and welcome to week 25. So this week has been pretty cruisy. Um, first of all, I guess I should talk about heartburn and Braxton Hicks. For my first two pregnancies, I had really, really bad heartburn and Braxton Hicks from about 19, 20 weeks. Um, with Ethan, number one pregnancy. I was having Braxton Hicks from 19 weeks and they were really, really painful. Same with Logan from about 20 weeks. I was having Braxton Hicks daily, weekly, and they were really, really painful. But this time round, I I haven't been feeling Braxton Hicks at all. I had um, Braxton Hicks a few times um, about a month or so ago, but I was feeling a little bit more stressed. Um, but for the last month I have I've been pretty pretty relaxed and happy and feeling wonderful. Um, so, same with heartburn, I've got my Tums there, they're next to my bed, they're at my desk at work, ready to eat if I feel heartburn, but I have no heartburn. It's just, I feel great. So I don't know if the contributing factor to that is good diet and a lot of exercise. I'm a lot more fit and healthy this pregnancy than I was my first two pregnancies. So I think that being fit, being healthy, eating the right food, having enough sleep, having great friends, feeling positive, must contribute to feeling perfect, healthy, no Braxton Hicks, no heartburn, feeling young, looking healthy. So I think it's definitely, definitely the key. Um, I know with my first pregnancy, I was doing the gym, but it wasn't as much. And I'd do the gym and then also eat eat pretty bad. So diet wasn't great. Second pregnancy, hardly any exercise. I was at least five kilos heavier than I am now. Bad diet, not great sleep, and didn't have a great pregnancy. So two really, you know, unhealthy pregnancies led to hard pregnancies this time around healthy eating good exercise awesome pregnancy and I'm six to seven years older than I was then so imagine a 30 year old going through pregnancy you would think that a 30 year old being pregnant and being young you would not suffer so much and a 40 year old would suffer a little bit more but it is nothing to do with the age it's seriously nothing to do with it it's a hundred percent exercise and 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 eating well so i to every other mother out there who who feels sick lack of energy heartburn braxton hicks pain any kind of suffering i urge you to eat really well three main meals two snacks whatever five five to six meals a day and get out there and do some exercise at least five days a week well four or three if you haven't done any but but you know if i if i at four years old can feel this wonderful and this young then you can too and it just it's down to that so that's my tip um movement um with with my first two pregnancies, my placenta was at the back and I felt a lot of movement all the time. Strong movement, strong kicks. This time round, my placenta is right in the front, so it's about here, around the top, top front right. Um, so, I mean, I can feel a move, but I've got, I've, I spend days where I feel nothing, like right now it's nothing, but I might eat eat some food and sit down and sit still and then I, I, I feel her, mostly I feel her at night, but definitely a lot less movement now than my other two pregnancies. Uh, I don't, I'm not worried. I know she's in there some days. I don't even feel her for the whole entire day and might feel the tiniest little bit of movement at night time and then other days I'll, you know, feel movement in the day and a lot of movement at night time. So much movement that you can see from the outside. But yeah, so I, I know other mothers in my mother's group have the same situation as me. They're concerned because they have days where they just don't feel movement at all. And it's like, 
how are you still in there? But it's okay, I know she's in there and it doesn't matter because they sleep a lot at this stage because they're putting on a lot of weight and growing really fast so they need to have their sleep. Sleep is important. Um, weight this week, I've gone up to 62 kilos. So I have gained another kilo in the last week. Um, starting the pregnancy at 56 to 57. So I have gained about five plus kilos, which is pretty all right. Um, weight wise, first two pregnancies, sorry, that's a train. Very loud. Okay, so first two pregnancies with Ethan, I was still at this period about 62, 63 kilos, so I was similar weight to I am now, but Logan, I was five kilos up. But I think compared this this pregnancy compared to Ethan, I do have more muscle on me, so I think I am smaller but I've got more muscle, so that's a contributing factor. Um, that train is long. It's probably a coal train. It's going, going, gone. Okay. Um, <laughs> growth, growing, my nails. I'm a nail biter. I don't have nails, but I have nails at the moment because um, I guess I'm constantly thinking about the germs and, and stuff that are under my nails. So if I bite my nails, it's going to affect the baby. So I have stopped biting my nails. And I have nails. And I even put nail polish on there. So for me, that's a big deal. It's really exciting. I feel like a girl. <laughs> um, also, my hair is softer. My, my skin feels softer. Um, I actually... I mean, I do cleanse and moisturize every single morning and night, but my skin does feel softer than normal. And apparently some people say I'm glowing. <laughs> so that must have something to do with all the hormones. I don't know if it's because I'm having a girl, but I don't recall glowing this much when I was pregnant with the two boys. Um, also, this is kind of a bit personal, but boobs have grown. With um, the boys, I didn't really have, have them until, you know, after I gave birth and the milk came. But this time around, it's like, you know, I'm feeling voluptuous. Just in that region, not any other. <laughs> not any other region, but it's nice. My husband likes it, so I guess that's a positive. Um, so that's also making me feel positive because I feel more feminine, I guess, because I've gone from absolutely flat chest, nothing, muscular, you know, zero to, to a little bit of femininity. Femininity, is that the word? Let's go with it. Um, I have another scan on Thursday. They just want to triple check that my cervix is all fine. Um, I'm happy because it's another free scan and hopefully I get to see um, my little girl again. Just a little flash of her, maybe get a photo. Um, that would be nice. The last, the last scan I had to check all of that sort of stuff. I didn't really, I didn't get to see the baby at all. They just showed me that region and measured and measured measured the cervix, made sure everything was, you know, okay, which it was. That's when I found out everything was perfect. But I didn't get to see my baby at all. So hopefully this time on Thursday I do get to see her and I'll uh, upload some pics and. Happy days. Um, all right, measurement. I have this. So last week I didn't get to do it. I haven't got to do it for a while because I lost my tape. But I found it. All right. So belly time. There's my 25 week belly. Kind of blends into the wall actually. Sorry, I'm, I'm all red. Um, I haven't done this in a while. Let's see if I get it right. Right. So belly this week is 95 centimeters, which is 37 and a half inches. That's all right. And 
Yeah, not too big, not too small. Happy days. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, feeling good, feeling great. Smile on my face. Happy days. <laughs> Positive. I have nothing bad to say. That's um, that's about it. So, I guess if you have any questions or have any comments on what you want to know if if you are pregnant yourself and you're feeling things and you want to know if I'm feeling the same things or if I've left anything out because I'm terrible my memory is not so wonderful I'm just talking on the fly I have a few notes but no so yeah if I've forgotten anything want to, want to know anything next week let me know in the comments and I'll I'll add them. All right, see you next week. Bye.